shine. Private school daughters are never going to want to keep in the head just to run. I know in September, I know we made me how much I love her. This is not going in. Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be going over some of my favorite fall essentials. So to get started with today, uh, this is like my fall essentials makeup edition. So I am going to be sharing what I feel like a person needs in their makeup collection for the fall. Now obviously makeup is universal. You don't have to only have this stuff in the fall. Like you don't have to only rock this lip in the fall time. I rock it sometimes in the summer so it's not like you don't have like you have to only okay this is what I use in the fall this is what I use in the winter this is what I use in the spring this is what I use in the summer so obviously of course with fall comes fall lippies like I said in the beginning you don't have to only have these in the fall you can wear these whenever but obviously leaves are changing colors your body's changing because fall fitness swag okay and you want to look good but you want to look sexy you want to look grungy you want to look mysterious you know you want to look like that um and i'm telling you a lip has power let me say let me tell you that because you can take a look from being day to night with the lip you can have any eyeshadow on any lashes on whatever but when you put that lippy on you're going from day to night so that's why i'm gonna include all my lipstick so obviously first i'm gonna start off with some color pop lippies okay these are you need in your staple if you are a makeup lover or you're a makeup artist and you need something in your kit or anything like that and you don't want to break your wallet in half okay these are what you need these are six dollars that's it this right here from mac i believe this was like 18 dollars maybe maybe even more than that i don't remember but i get yeah, this 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 are these <clears throat> if you're on a budget which one would you choose um first i'm gonna start off with this color this color is an avenue and it is the alt color pop ultra matte lip now the one i'm wearing right now is actually color pop one and i'll show you that one later but I will go ahead and warn you guys they're six dollars and they have a really good it's a really good quality for six dollars obviously it's six dollars that's what you're paying for you get what you pay for but and they do crumble some of them do crumble a lot of them are transfer proof um like this one I just kissed it has a little bit of transfer and a little bit of crumble so it kind of crumbles gives you the butthole lips <laughs> first one I'm gonna share is called Avenue and this is one of their ultra matte lips and this one is beautiful you guys okay so I'm gonna swatch like this I'm gonna swatch like this so I can have room so this one and when they dry down they're even prettier like guys I'm not gonna have no Instagram swatches okay this is gonna be real life this is real life swatches boom this color come is like a purple this one is k and this one is like a brown like a true brown these are some struggle swatches but you know what they getting the job done so i'm okay with it do is rooch this is also from karuchi's line and this one let's swatch it some of these guys i promise i haven't even worn yet okay but i'm put I haven't even, yeah, yeah, I haven't worn them yet. Some of them I haven't worn yet. Some of them I have worn once, blah, 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 worn once or twice. This one I haven't worn yet. Or have I? I can't remember. Anywho, so this one, let's swatch it. See, you can tell I like to stay in the same family of colors. But this one right here, it does it's, it's more red. So this one kind of looks like Avenue. See, this is Avenue, this is K, and this is Rooch. This one's more red. Oh, but you pop this in, girl, girl, what are you wearing? This is what I would have. Like, girl, what you wearing? I'm gonna need that tomorrow. <laughs> the next one that I'm going to um talk about is the one that I'm wearing right now it's called LAX um, this one obviously is like this red brown 
I don't really want to call it a brick brown because it's not as red as brick but it's really like sultry so I just don't like this I don't like that but with my eyeshadow because I put on I used the 35 0 matte palette today to do this and with the eyeshadow um, I felt like it was a good match. I mean, because this is a fall essential, so I felt like my mate, my face should at least be fall like. Um, so yeah, so this one is definitely one that I love. I wear it now. I've worn it during the summer. I mean, like I said, none of these are season. Like you cannot wear this in the summer. Makeup's uh, no rule. There's no rules in makeup. You do what you want when you pop it. Okay. This one, I love this one. And they all, they're all in the same family, as you can tell. So yeah, that is LAX. Next one is going to be ColourPop Notion. This one is a, it, to me it's purple. It's purple. It's, 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 it's like a berry purple. And I'm not a berry tone color at all. A berry tone person. I don't really like berry tones, but this is beautiful. And I could not, I could not, I cannot, I cannot. And then the last one for ColourPop is going to be the, um, uh, the Karuchi line again. And this one is in Saigon. Do you see that? Oh my geez. Holy mother of pearl. Oh, mm. It is one is Kylie. Obviously, that I'm so I'm so late with this. I didn't buy this until I don't even freaking remember. Uh, like a whole year, maybe even more than after she released all her stuff. Like, like it was bad. Like I, I I'm I'm so late when it comes to these. But and I got the three colors I've been wanting. I think it was Love Bite, True Brown K, which is this one. And then uh, there's another one in there. I did want another one, but after wearing some of her lipsticks, I'm like, nah. I've worn this one, I think, twice. And it's beautiful. It's a beautiful color. I love the smell. The smell reminds me of an Easy Bake Oven. When you're a kid, when you're a little girl, or um, one of those fake vanilla cupcakes. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If y'all grew up in the 90s, you know what I'm talking about. Those little fake vanilla cupcakes. And I don't know what you really, I can't remember what we really did with them, but they're like fake little, little fake vanilla cupcakes. I can't remember. But this one is super pretty. I'm definitely going to have to start using these because they're all getting super freaking watery. <laughs> but this one and K, you see, K is a little bit lighter than, K is a little bit lighter than this one. So this one's like milk chocolate and this one's like cocoa. Wait, that's the same thing this one is like super light like they added a little bit more milk in this and this one like they stopped so this one's definitely like chocolate chocolate and this one's more so like a like a milk chocolate like a like a little bit lighter but i mean i like these i love all of these colors i'm dying yes i love fall so freaking much okay so last but not least i'm going to um there's two more lipsticks they're from mac um, I believe, I think they were like $18 a piece. I, I, I swear they were. And they're kind of within the same family as this. This one is in Carnivorous. My friend Jasmine came over one day wearing this and I was like, what is that? I'm going to get it tomorrow. Oh, look how beautiful. Now, and you could tell the difference. Like, like I said, you get what you pay for. So I can't complain because obviously I purchased them. And then this one is called High Drama. And then this one's purple. This one's purple. Definitely in the purple fam. I'm going down to my ash. I need to hurry up. Yeah, this one. Oh, they're so creamy. Dude, they look great. I'm going to have a hell of a time trying to get all these. Watch me go outside with this on my hand. Yeah. So, anyone who loves warm tone shadows. I'm a warm tone girl. Okay, I like warm tones. This bad boy right here, if you don't have it, mm -mm, mommy Cita, you need this, okay? I don't know why I felt super Spanish just then. My mama says we got Spanish in our blood, but I, I swear we full Negro. But yes, yeah, so if you're a makeup lover and you like makeup and makeup likes you, you need this, okay? Let me tell you. 
this right here look at this beautiful the colors are gorgeous okay I've used this twice I'm only use this twice it just came out okay at the end of the summer it was like boom in your face we're um, I love these colors these mattes right here are beautiful and then it goes down and it's just literally like one of those color ranges and you're just like oh my god 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 and it's just beautiful I love this palette like this palette is a staple um, for anyone this you need this in your makeup collection when you want warm tones this is it now I'm gonna go ahead and warn you all these palettes are a little warm on the warmer side so if you're looking for something cool this you're not gonna see it here let's just throw that out there um this one is just like a little one i've made from mac um these are just colors and i cannot remember for the life of me what these colors are this one is saddle i believe and then this one is like red brick and then this one is like peach or something like i started kind of like my my peach my sweet peach palette before they actually bought the sweet peach palette um, but but like I said, I am a warm tone girl. I love warm tones. This black is giving my face life, okay? I love warm tones. I love browns. I love oranges. I love peach. I love all of this right here. This is me. I've worn this so many times. I've worn this these out. I love MAC shadows. They, they just blend so effortlessly. These are the Pro Refill cans tan whatever pro refill whatever and then this is just one of their refill things eight dollars six dollars i buy shit full price don't let me i'm not gonna lie but i i do buy stuff cheap too okay so this palette is a staple obviously it's a classic you this they're a little controversial but and I, I actually haven't purchased from them in a long time because not because I feel a way about them or anything, but because I just have not. But uh, I have most of their brushes, and they're I mean they shed like a freaking new puppy, like it's it's so bad. But I mean I love this eyeshadow palette. This is the 35O matte version. I will continue to use this. This is what I used on my eyes today, literally. This is what I used on my eyes today. The The mattes are beautiful. They have a little bit of fallout, but it's like the same fallout you would have with uh, any type of palette you have. Like to me, the mattes are they're pretty good. I don't, I, the only thing I don't like is when they all kind of run into each other, you don't really have any definition, but that's when you just switch up your brushes. Switch up your brushes. If you want to do a cut crease, use some concealer, pack it on that color. Um, you know, I can see definition when I switch my brushes. If I'm just using a blending brush and I'm putting color on top of color on top of color, of course they're going to blend into each other. So, I mean, this, this, this Morphe is very controversial, but I love this palette and I actually have the other one too. This retails, I think, for about $22, $22. $2.99 actually that's what it retails for um, and I think it's worth it so last but not least I know this one just came out it's the um, Too Faced just peachy mattes but I love it already I've used this three times already I've used this three times yeah and um, I love this I can do anything from neutral to drastic um, as you can tell, I stay pretty much in the same neutral family. I do have some, um, other, you know, shadows. Um, I use a lot of, like, glitters. And then I have, like, bright color pop shadows. So that if I want a bright look and I'm like, oh, this is boring, add a little shimmer, boom, bow, there I am. I'm, I'm, I'm back again. So this one I love because I can do anywhere from, um, natural looks to drastic looks to, from day to night. This is a very day to night palette. Um, I use a lot of the, um, neutral colors for my lid and all that. So, alrighty. So that ends this video. Okay. This was my fall essentials for 2017. Um, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.